Wait! Uh, something's not right. I came to save you. It's okay now. They're going through. I won't let you go again. I can take whatever you give me. So please, open your eyes. Sion! It's over. And this is your mind. You're finished. Take this. It's over. No further. I'll tear you apart. <laughs> the thorns just keep growing back. If this keeps up, then... all alone. She can't see us. Or hear us. All of this. It's because I pulled away from you. Because I couldn't hold on to you. Shion. Well, too. <clears throat> Kisara <clears throat> and Doheling. <clears throat> and so am I.
times do I have to tell you? Not to be so careless. <laughs> there is no more time for us to rest. Let us finish this. I entrust this blade to you once more. Hey, Alfin? Hmm? What is it? While I was away, what did you do? I missed you. Alfin. But after what happened because of me... I got a glimpse of the real you. It was worth it. You could say the pain is some kind of reward. Some reward? You sure all that hurt hasn't done something to your head, too? <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> Is it just me, or are they...? It's been a while. They're just happy to see each other. I know. I mean, it's fine. We all express ourselves in different ways. Leave them be. They should get a room. Shion. Thanks. I'll be okay. Let's go. We have to take Volron out. Right. Those things that came out of Xion are her thorns, right? She said they're made of dark astral energy. She did. But those thorns are no astral art, and she cannot control them. Such immense astral energy, too. Just what are her thorns, really, I wonder? I suppose she might have an answer, but isn't yet ready to talk. Xion. So, the Sovereign, the Renis Alma, the fate of Lenigus 300 years ago? Yes, that is a lot to take in, isn't it? I never realized the weight of the burden you were carrying. I could say the same. The person you kept mistaking me for. It was Naori, wasn't it? So, what do you think? Could I be her descendant? It seems likely. You two do look very similar. Kidnapping Xion, mistreating slaves, and who knows what other terrible deeds. Seriously? These so-called lords just think they can do whatever they like. I am deeply ashamed to be one of their kind. Uh, sorry, my bad. I didn't mean you, Dohalim. Do you think Volron could have been behind what just happened with Xion's thorns? I'm not sure. If it was bait he needed, kidnapping her should have sufficed. Perhaps he had some other purpose in mind. Her thorns aside, as a hostage, surely it would have made more sense to keep her close at hand. So why did he leave her unguarded? If getting rid of Alfin was Volron's only priority, then he could have ambushed us directly. It's not as if he lacked the power. He chose not to, which means he's toying with us, prolonging Alfin's suffering as much as he can. But why? What does Volron specifically have against Alfin? Is it because he's leading the Danon Rebellion? Possibly. But try to see it from Volron's perspective. He'd do anything to win the Crown Contest, correct? Knowing that the true Sovereign already exists somewhere is bound to ruffle his feathers. 
Have your paths crossed before, Alfin? Only when I've been with you guys. In the end, we just find more mysteries. What isn't a mystery is how badly we're gonna beat this creep up once we find him. <sighs> what a simple and straightforward person you are, Law. Way to give us a heart attack. I wasn't sure how that was gonna pan out for a while there. I'm just glad everyone's safe. Really glad. What about you, Xion? How are you feeling? He didn't... do anything to you, did he? The... The last thing I remember is being back on the ship. Back then. Seeing Alfin's pain return to him the moment he touched me. It brought me back to my childhood. The fear in people's eyes whenever they were around me. And the next thing I knew... Darkness was welling up inside me. It was smothering me. I... I couldn't see anything anymore. I was all alone. Xion... You're okay now. You're safe, Xion. We're here with you. You're not alone any longer. Thank you. <laughs>